morning and grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus the Christ. Let us pray. Bless in all the words of my lips and the meditations of our hearts and minds. They may be acceptable in thy sight and glorify thee, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. The reading I want to share with you this morning is one simple verse. It's from James chapter 1, verse 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Here ends the reading. Every now and then, as I attempt to fix the things that I cannot fix, I am reminded of the serenity prayer that was written by Reinhold Niebuhr. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. It is difficult to watch others suffer. Sometimes we can help them. Sometimes we cannot do anything except to pray for them. Sometimes the things we attempt to fix don't need fixing at all. And sometimes we lack the wisdom to know the difference. So we go about spinning our wheels, trying to fix that which only God can fix. Wisdom will help us to determine what we can and should change and what we must trust to God alone. When God gives us the knowledge and the wisdom of how we are to proceed, it would be very wise indeed to follow his directions. Ignoring what God has taught or told you through his word, whether directly by reading and studying scripture or by words spoken through others is definitely not wise. May God grant us all the wisdom to listen to him and the courage to do what he asks of us and to go where he would send us. Amen.